Hello all and welcome to another Three Blind Bags. And it's the first for 2023 and also the first for season four of Three Blind Bags. Yes, season four. Wow, where has the time gone? But if you are new to Three Blind Bags, here's how it works. Down here next to me, I've got a box of blind bag products that are all different in there. No two are the same. What happens is, is I pull one out at random at a time without looking. And when I pull that one out at random, I'll just examine the pack to start with, see what it's got to offer, anything random or common available in it and all that sort of jazz. Then after we've done that, we'll open the pack, take out the products, have a good look at that, have a bit of fun with it, perhaps take the mick out of it if it deserves it. And as the episode goes along, we'll be lining the products up against the wall of Mega Drive games here till we have all three at the end of the episode. And from the three that uh, are lined up there, I must pick a favourite, a champion of the episode. And that champion of the episode will actually go forward towards an end of year video where we crown a champion of champions for 2023 for what will have been three blind bags for 2023. But anyway, with all that said and done, let's have the right hand disappear into the box. We shall give it a little bit of a shuffle, a little bit of a shuffle, but I've got a blind bag already, so we'll grab that one. It's quite a big blind bag. It is quite a big blind bag. It's quite a big blind bag. That is Yu-Gi-Oh! Did I say big blind bag again up there? I don't know. But yes, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's uh, covered in hieroglyphics by the look of it. And what have we got? Yu-Gi-Oh! Hangers. They are hangers. They are purchased. They are Sintres. And we can collect all eight, apparently, which is not a bad number, actually. Normally you buy these, and it's like, collect all, I don't know, 100. And you're like, no, I'm not doing that, but I'm not collecting all eight either. Now, I've got to be honest with you, I know squat about Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's got dragons on the front, and who doesn't love a cool dragon? We've also got characters in there by by the looks of it as well. But if I get, don't get a dragon, I'll actually be a little bit disappointed. I don't want this little cutesified little woman thing look at those eyes why do, why do they have to have massive eyes to crucify them i don't know anyway here's who we can get on the back like i said no nothing about you yeah but give me a cool drag give me a cool three-headed dragon look at that the blue eyes ultimate dragon we've got blue eyes white dragon we've got red eyes b dragon yes be a dragon will you and right who we got here obelisk the tormentor who sounds like a character from an Asterix comic. And we've got the Winged Dragon of Ra. There we go, named after the noise he makes. And then we've got... What the hell is that? Just looks like a lot of red. Like a mess of red there. Anyway, he's Sly for the Sky Dragon. Perhaps if we get him, it'll be a lot clearer of the dragon that he actually is. And then down here, we've got a Dark Magician. And then we've got the one that I saw on the front there. Dark Magician Girl. Oh, come on. It's a bit of lazy naming, is it? naming isn't it? Dark Magician, and then just called the girl Dark Magician Girl. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? What else have we got on here? Uh, warning, Miss on Guard, Advent Adventasia. Adventasia. Sounds like a small uh, province in Spain, doesn't it? Uh, there we go. We've got UKCA on it and the Championship Edition, apparently. Anyway, enough of looking at it. Let's uh, let's open this up with the Easy Tear tab, which is up here, I see. And hopefully we get ourselves a Call Last Dragon. And not one of the, the, the human characters. Easy to tear tab, but a tough foil on it. There we go, look. A bit of brute force and ignorance. Who have we got? We've got a dragon, and we've got the uh, we've got the asterisk sounding character. We've got the obelisk, whatever it was called. See, like, I've got asterisk on the mind of me saying obelix. Right, what was his name again? Oh, uh, we tore one of the heads off the three-headed dragon there. Right, his name is Obelisk the Tormentor. Uh, detail, detail. Not awful, actually. Actually, that's quite impressively uh, moulded. That's quite a nice thing. It looks very plain. But then again, perhaps he's meant to look that plain. Uh, the hanger is... It, it it looks like one of those cheap ones, but it's got uh, it's a little bit more sturdy than your average cheap one, if that makes any sense. But that's all right. As I was going to say, it'd probably be, uh, you know, appeal a little bit more to me if I knew what Yu-Gi-Oh was. It's, uh, I was going to say, I didn't want one of the human characters. I wanted one of the dragon. I don't think he's a dragon, but he's like sort of a, a cool, large gargoyle. Is that a fair analogy? But yeah, no, it's, it's a nicely moulded thing. There you go, it's got uh, his owner's name on his foot. He's owned by Mr. OSD slash SDA. There we go. Yeah, no, that's all right. That's all right. That's not a bad thing. Like I said, I'm not, I don't really know Yu-Gi-Oh, but that is a nicely moulded thing. Right, let's go back into the box. Let's pick up blind bag number two. Uh, let's have this one here. What have we got? What have we got? Nearly dropped it as it came into view. Gang Beasts. Series 1 keychain figures. Let's call it Series 1 because if we call it Series 1, that sets us up for another series. And we've got Collect All 16, so we've doubled the amount already. Not quite 100. Collect All 16. Wow. 16. Collect All 16. And I think this, this was like 4 quid. 4 quid. 
You've got to buy 16 at £4 and then try and get them all without getting any doubles. That's a lot of money. It's maths I can't do quickly. But, uh, yeah, there's all the characters. I play Gang Beasts. play the video game Gang Beasts. It's like, um, the characters are like, very much like what you get out of, uh, oh, God, I'm forgetting names of games here. But, basically, they work on the ragdoll physics. And, yeah, it's, um, I've got 1,000G out of it, but I wasn't overly overly impressed with it to be honest with you and the interesting thing about this is that the game doesn't have its own characters you you create your own so literally they can make series after series after series of this if it if it actually uh sells well because like i said you you, you create your own create your own character so we've got all sorts of people on the front we've got the uh, got a guy with a mohawk here we've got uh, a wrestler wearing a, a singlet there a guy with shades in the middle who kind of feels like he's walked out of a uh, a, a, a rap concert and got lost in the middle there. I've got man in a chicken suit there. Man in a in a, uh, what a, a T Rex suit there. And oh god, yeah, these these characters are very random. Let's open it up and see which one we get. Uh, get this. right. Oh, we got we got a bit of all right. Let's uh, there's a bit of paper with the sixteen to collect. Is it giving them names or is it just literally just the gang on the front? It does look. That's uh, what we've got on the back here. All oh, right, okay. Gang 1, yellow, blue, green, and red. Gang 2, yellow, blue, green, and red. Gang 3, yellow, blue, green, and red. And guess what Gang 4 are called? They're called yellow, blue, green, and red. Come on, man. Give them some names. Let's be a bit... At least say what they are. Like, there we go. Look. Re yellow wrestler. You know, blue wrestler. Red wrestler. Green wrestler. Come on. Dressed up like animal colours. Oh, lazy. Lazy. Is, is this key ring any good, though? Is the key ring any good? What the hell is that? What the hell is that? It's like... Do you know what I saw the other? It's like Jax from Mortal Kombat has become a gang beast character and worn some stupid helmet. It's the geezer with the mohawk, isn't it? What are those for feet? Are the feet broken off or something? Comeback pack. Well, there's no feet in the pack, but it looks like... What? Oh, this is naff. I swear this was like four quid. Oh, my God. The colour looks... like The colour here, the green, looks all right. And a nice, bright and vibrant. And then the colour of his suit looks like gone-off toothpaste. Jesus Christ. Oh, my days. Like, I don't understand what's going on there with the, the legs slash where are your feet. No, 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 no. Go away. Let's, let's just say your your chance of winning this episode with the champion of the episode has probably already been ruined by me by expressing my... You know, just go away. Just go away. Right, let's get in the box and just get something else out quick. And hopefully it's big enough to cover that little piece of crap up. Right, what have we got? Sonic the Hedgehog, he can save the day, can't he? Hopefully. There he is running at us. Just gone through a ring. I'm sure you're supposed to collect the ring, Sonic. Ah, uh, six to collect in this one. That's a little bit more achievable than 16 of these pieces of trash. Right, so they look like key rings as well. They look like I've got the cheap hangers. These hangers always look so cheap to me. And um, we've got a couple of Sonics there. Oh, no, that's um, that's uh, Metal Sonic there. We've got Tails, we've got Amy, we've got Knuckles. And a rare 1 in 16 version of Shadow. I think that's Shadow, isn't it? Will we get the Shadow the Hedgehog? It's in a big chunky thing. It's like we're, we're going to make sure you can't feel the, you know, the hell out of this and try and get the one you actually want. Have uh, we got an easy tear tab or are we going to need scissors? No, we've got an easy tear tab. Who do I want? Who do I want? Yeah, look at this. The Sonic looks cool. I like the Metal Sonic as well. I'm not really... Oh, the towels is in an... Oh, do you know what? They're, they're all nice. I'm not, not really giving much care about Amy. But uh, I, I like them all. But come on, give us give us the rare one. Or at least just... Yeah, let, let's commit to one and give us the Sonic. If I can't have that rare one in 16, let's have Sonic. Give us that rare one in 16. I can sell that on eBay and uh, not go to work for a week. Who knows? Right, so they've put a bit of carb around it. Oh, it looks like it's Knuckles. Quite happy with Knuckles. I do like Knuckles as a character. Do like Knuckles as a character very, very much. And that's got a bit of weight to it, so the figure feels like quality. Like I said, I'm always a bit worried about these plastic hangers being, you know, feeling cheap and nasty from the off because they always look it. I, you know, why just give us a metal ring, give us a proper keychain. But that's not the worst as well. That feels like it's got a little bit of a strength to it. Uh, that is a nice thing, actually. Again, that's, again, well moulded, well painted. I like that. I like that. As I say, it's almost a shame. I wish it was on a proper chain and metal keyring. That's the only downside to it. Is this one? Uh, well, that, no, that one was on a cheap thingy as well. The only, ironically, the only one that is on a proper metal key chain is the 
actual one that is a proper cheap and nasty thing, the footless toothpaste shirt wearing thing. Right. I like that. I like that a lot. I say it's nicely molded. It's in a bit of a weird pose, like he's, um, I don't know, he's uh, d doing a dance. But uh, maybe, he's, he's, maybe he's jumping in the air because he's celebrating the fact he's just finished a level without dying once. So well done, Knuckles. Yeah, they yeah, love Knuckles as a character. Probably should have actually picked him over Sonic, but uh, I, I like that Sonic one with the, the way he's pointing out his finger. But this is a very cool figure as well. So I've got two very cool figures there, actually. That, he's cool, but I don't know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh. He's cool. It's Knuckles, isn't it? And it's, these both very nicely molded. It's not a lot of paintwork to this one, but what little there is, I was going to say, is done well. I notice he's got like a blue thingy on his head. Is that an arrow? Is that an arrow pointing? No, I think it's just a sort of, some sort of embedded jolly thing in his head uh like it's got different coloring to his eyes as well it looks like the rest of it isn't is meant to be all one color so there's no need for the paint job but the molding on that is very very nice i've already expressed my you know just go away go away um uh, so um yeah the champion of the episode is pretty much picking between these two i think because yeah you know there's always going to be a little bit of bias you know over what i like and what i know uh as much as this is really nice and could have probably one on another day i am going to pick the knuckles I'm going to pick the knuckles please do uh you know play along and share who you think should win the episode down below if you agree with me do you think it should be this knuckles figure or do you like the Yu-Gi-Oh one there i was gonna say very impressed with it very impressed with it just don't know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh. but uh, i'm not taken away from the fact you are a very nice thing and this is a very very nice thing as well i like this a lot and this will be the uh, the, the winner of episode one for season four of three blind bags like i said do you agree comment section below if you enjoyed the video give us a little thumbs up that would be pretty awesome subscribe if you're new all the good youtube stuff that we like all the good youtube stuff that we like he's not really going to stand up but anyway this just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and as always please do take care